Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. I haven't done a KDP video for a while. If you don't know what KDP is, it's a way, another way of earning money online, very similar to print-on-demand. These two work together very well. So in short summary, I won't go into it in detail because I did that before, but in very short detail, you create designs that you could potentially use for print-on-demand, but you can also use them to put them on a book covers. So Today, what I want to show you, and you can sell these then on Amazon. So you have to create a KDP account and then you upload these designs to Amazon KDP. And there are different ways of doing it. There are low content books, no content books, and you know, more content books, depending on what is in them. So you can have just lined notebook journals without any content, or you can have, can have slightly more content like motivational books with quotes or anything, or you can really have um, activity books, you know, and books where you, where where you can where, where children can learn to write and to read and things like that so you can generate all of that yourself there are various tools out there about which i spoke on this channel but today i really want to give you some help to generate more sales on kdp by showing you some of the best sellers on kdp the tool i use for that is flying research on flying research you can select the marketplace i use us for um, amazon kdp sorting by the best seller rank on Amazon. So the higher, the more sales it is generating. And I'm not typing in any keyword here. I could now type in journal or so, but I just really genuinely want to show you the best sellers. Bear in mind, there could also be just some normal books which are uploaded on the KDP marketplace. But there are also some books that you can just, or most of them will be books that you can create yourself. Like, you know, handwriting practice workbooks, puzzle books, activity books, lined notebook journals as well, motivational books. And I want to give you an idea of what is really selling well. So you can get an idea of in, into which niche you are getting into. And from that, then you can decide, you know, which tools you might want to be using and so on. So we're going to take a closer look at that. We're starting here on flying research. By the way, if you're interested in using that tool yourself, there's a link in the description with a discount code and you can sign up if you're interested and then you can use it every day, of course. It really helped me a lot to not only with KDP, but with print on demand, especially. So we're taking a look. The first one here, I mean, these two are just normal books, um, but this one here is a motivational swear words coloring book. These are selling pretty well. And when you are in flying research, you can actually click on here and it would take you to the Amazon marketplace so that is worth doing because then you can even open the book and have a look at the first pages because amazon does a preview here we can check some more info out so it might be worth if you are getting into this if you want to take a look at that and maybe create your own motivational swear words coloring book then it might be worth getting into the keywords here so i will help you with the keywords here so you can have a look and use some of these on your own books because these are the keywords that people are using there so you have paperback march books where coloring coloring books stress um yeah i won't pro uh, speak that out loud here words pages adult motivational word adult swearing relief funny journals and there are long tail keywords down here as well adult coloring motivational swear words coloring book swear word coloring and so on i mean you can read them out yourself um personally i wouldn't use some of these for keywords on Amazon, like that one here, because I'm, you know, I won't, I don't want to risk my account. Honestly, they are so strict with some of their um, rules, so it's really hard sometimes. And then what's nice on Amazon, uh, on Flying Research, if you scroll down, you can get some similar designs or actually books that are in the same niche. So you can go through here and you can see how often they have sold as well. But let's go back to the overview. So that is a niche I think that might be worth looking into. Handwriting practice workbook, I'm sure they can be generated as well, but given that um, there are lots out there and I think they're quite hard to generate, to be honest. Um, obviously, you can probably get in, um, well, you can get parts, you know, the, the, the internal pages you can probably find on Creative Fabrica. So it's, it might not be that hard to create. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe you can. I mean, but I wouldn't create these all myself, so I would probably use an... Um, a generator for the interior or would use maybe creative fabrica um, which you can find in the description as well there's a link for you can try creative fabrica for just one dollar and um, yeah you can try it out, out yourself they have kdp interiors as well on creative fabrica then we've got the spanish love deception i think that's probably just a book 
There you go. Not really sure what that is. Looks like a planner um, primary primary school. A cookbook, which honestly you could create yourself as well. Why, why not go for a cookbook? I mean, honestly, if you have passion cooking, why not? This is again a um, primary composition notebook. So these seem to be quite popular. Primary composition notebook. And we're gonna have a quick look at that because there was this other one just now. So again, might be worth looking into that as well. Um, primary composition notebook, grades K2 with picture space, top half blank, handwriting practice paper. So that's what it is. Again, just for handwriting practice. And again, probably if you're interested in that, interiors you can find on um, or in on Creative Fabrica. What else do we have? Again, this must be another swear word um, coloring book. Here's another a toddler coloring book. So, I mean, there are lots of coloring books generally, yeah? But I think the key is to stick out in the niche of coloring books. What I would do, I would go into sub niches like a toddler coloring book or go into an animal coloring book or a dinosaur coloring book or, uh, you know, um, a medieval knights and dragons coloring book, things like that, not, not just a normal coloring book. Here again, handwriting. So these sell pretty well writing again, letter practice. And here again, this has to do with um, activities for, for toddlers and children. Again, another composition notebook. So, so far we've seen a lot of composition notebooks in the top, um, in the top, whatever, top 50 here. Um, and a lot of um, swear words, coloring books or coloring books in general and activity books. Here's another more coloring books. And this must be something like a journal notebook notebook journal we can click on that or it might be something else with swear words so let's have a quick look at that when it is loaded might take a little moment to load because it's gathering all the information it might not do it maybe maybe if it doesn't do it it might have taken they might have taken it off amazon already let's take a quick look try it another time i think honestly maybe they have taken it off it's not loading Anyway, let's take a look at further designs. Relaxing flowers, you know, that is something, I guess the whole niche of relaxation, I've seen that a few times, because people are so stressed in the day. Um, I think this whole niche of here, relaxing flowers, or take a look at, yeah, adult coloring book, that helps as well, it helps people to relax. Even here, more adult coloring books. And here, 100 amazing patterns, again, just to calm down a little bit. So that is helpful. Here, positive vibes. So adult coloring books, I think I can recommend. Looks like these are selling really well. Another seems to be like a swear word um, book, a motivational swear word coloring book. The composition notebook, there was another one with gaming. Here, a dinosaur coloring book. And I just mentioned, have a look, think about sub niches for that, you know, dinosaur coloring book. There again, amazing patterns and again, patterns you can find a lot on creative fabrica i think to be honest maybe the next books that i will upload they might just be patterns because these seem to be very popular and i haven't to be honest i haven't uploaded to kdp for a while because at the moment i focus more on my youtube um, money making online journey and that goes pretty well not necessarily on this channel only but i'm just um, building another youtube channel which was recently monetized and makes me much more passive income than this one here so I'm uh, on a good way of uh, on my make money online journey. Um, and again, thanks for all your help with that because you guys are my audience and I can just, I can't thank you enough. Really, it um, hopefully I'll motivate you as well by going through these designs and by helping you sharing my learnings as well. Right, let's carry on. Graph paper notebook. Um, here's the first piano music sheet music for kids that's the first one i've seen easy to create as well i'm sure there are templates online that you can use or again creative fabrica composition notebook so i think you get an idea what is selling again mandalas color uh, adult coloring book it's pretty much like patterns or mandalas they go really well it seems a blank comic book these have, i have seen a few times now as well so a blank coloring book <clears throat> you basically put something in there where people can develop um, their own comic so it's not necessarily completely blank, but people, yeah, you know, can put can, can draw their own um, comics in there. So again, baby animals coloring book. So you can see 
in these bestsellers, there have been so many coloring books. And I guess if you can find sub niches for that, like dragons, like adults, like swear words, like um, mandalas, like patterns, that will be really a good one to go into and not hard to create. To be honest, you can create quite a lot of them. Honestly, I don't know why this is selling well. Notebook, bit boring, isn't it? Let's take a look. Whoops. And a few more maybe. But that should give you enough stuff to carry on with your work. I mean, it's weekend. You have a bit of time maybe on your hands so you can get into KDP. Primary journal, just some normal books, activity books, another toddler coloring book. I don't think necessarily some more will come out here. I think the ones that I've just shown you, oh, dot to dot, I think they are pretty popular. popular. I enjoyed doing these as a child um, where you have half of the side of, you know, maybe an animal, um, you know, basically as picture already. And the other half is just um, dots, you know, numbers to connect. And then you can just complete that picture. And again, probably either you do them yourself, which will be a lot of work or just check out Creative Fabrica. And I think that's, you know, I think just the magic of manifesting, just a normal book. Yeah, I think just carrying on like that wouldn't really give you additional value. Um, well, this is a nice one. 100 countryside scenes, coloring book. So you could pick, um, you know, maybe maybe seaside scenes. You know, I, I guess they will be selling pretty well because people want to get into the into the warm, into the sunny areas, you know, holidays, relaxation. But yeah, I think we'll stop at this point. I think you've had a lot of input now, a lot of different designs to go by, a lot of different niches. And hopefully that helps you to start and kick off and support your own KDP journey. And I will do some more KDP updates in the very near future. Just need to get to upload more again because I have stopped that even though I have flying research, um, a flying upload KDP, but it's just the time still that I need to generate the designs. So anyway, we are going to carry on with that and it's on a good way. So hopefully that was useful. If you liked it, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand and KDP journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.